What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This your girl, Lady Tarosi, and I'm back with another reading. This is going to be for my Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Male and female. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. For those that this reading happens to resonate with, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click that little bell button so you can be notified whenever I upload a reading. All right. Whoa, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, Aquarius. Yeah, it could be a new love coming in for you. And stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? So stay optimistic about your love life. You have a new person coming in. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this could have been a while for some of you. Okay, but divine timing is at work in your love life, Aquarius. That's really good. All righty, let's see. Yes. That's good. A new person has started your romantic feelings. Let's see what messages. Oh, we got for Aquarius. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So this person could be very disciplined. They could be one that works really hard. Okay, this new person I'm talking about, Aquarius. Okay. Oh, yeah, they are very honest. For some, yeah, they are definitely honest here. We do have honesty at the bottom of the deck. Um, Let's see. Hmm. Wow. So this person is very accomplished, I'll say. Um, this person has a lot of discipline, a lot of structure is what I'm getting, okay? Whatever they set their mind to, um, they accomplish it. So this person could be one of them, one of them type of people who is just very, um, goal-oriented, you know, has a lot of ambition, which is really good, okay? Really good. They could be a hard worker as well. This is a new person, okay? I feel like... <laughs> Some of you definitely could have been waiting. And divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah. We have growth. So this is this definitely could be someone that you can grow with. Okay. This is someone who you can expand with. All right. This is someone who's definitely going to be intelligent on a mental level. level okay. Wow. So a lot of you have been doing just this. Surrendering. Um surrendering and, and giving it to the universe. And I feel like a lot of you have been waiting. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Hey. Okay. Yes. Let's grab some um, energy oracles and then we're going to um, grab maybe one rebels oracle and then we're going to hop right into this reading for you Aquarius. Really good. Wow. So you got someone new coming in who's very disciplined. You know, who's very structured. They could probably teach you a lot as well. I feel like this person is going to be a protector here with the hostilities card. Okay, so definitely could, could be an air sign, air energy as well. Um, they may travel the world here. We do have the world at the bottom of the deck. So, um, wow. Let's see, any more messages we have? This person could be like a no-nonsense type of person here, you know, a protector. Wow, look at this at the bottom of the deck, joy to value. This person could be financially stable, you know, very wealthy is what I'm getting. We have attachment. We have envy. Ooh. And we have the sun, yes. Yeah. So be prepared for people being a little envious, maybe wanting to start conflicts and stuff. I really feel like with this attachment... There could be, um, wow, this could be, um, wow, maybe someone could be wanting to be like defensive towards you because of this new beginning, because of this new uh, love here. We have the sun card. So it's like, this is like dark energy here, like a little low vibrational type of energy up here. And then down here we got you know, new energy, you know, walking through the doors of value. Yeah, definitely could be a man with, that's very financially stable, okay? So you may have a little jealousy from um, 
whoever this is. Could be people around you or whatever. Maybe I feel like it's um it's some sort of attachment. It's almost like a wanting to keep you down in the same spot, not wanting you to elevate and grow. So it's almost like you know, if you're used to living a certain type of way, this is people that are used to seeing you in one spot or not, you know, just used to you not growing or maybe used to you not dating or whatever. So it's almost like you meet this new person that's so different, brilliant, very financially stable. It's just like a, a big burst of sunshine into your life. So you may have a lot of envious and jealous people around here that may um, that may feel some type of way or that may throw shots a little bit, you know, with this hostilities card. I'm also picking up that this person is definitely a protector. So um, they could be jealous of the way that this person, you know, um, kind of like protects you, okay? And it says, be fucking grateful, okay? It says shit could be so much worse okay we also have step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second kale and spirulina tastes like ass hopefully i uh pronounced that right eat some yummy shit bacon chocolate beer get some so i feel like this person will be taking you out you guys are definitely going to be having a lot of fun together so that's where the envy may come from as well from other people on the outside looking in and we have the epiphany card okay this been coming out too for, um for a lot of people yeah this person could be definitely bring a lot bringing a lot of happiness to your life with the laugh card so you could be having and you know having a lot of fun with them and definitely enjoying the time that you have with them okay and we have figure shits out on your own so i feel like with this not don't try you know just try not to um tell people everything because this is where like the envy may come in at you know with you expressing how much fun you're having with someone because it almost seems like someone wants to keep you locked or like someone just wants to keep you at a stale at a stalemate at a standstill not wanting you to grow and elevate and flourish and go out there and date and different things like that so you may have some jealousy maybe from an ex or this could be someone that you are around or that you were around you know i'm not really sure but there's definitely that jealousy tendency that's here okay and i feel it almost feels like someone is trying to keep you um at some sort of you know, just trying to keep you down, you know, not wanting you to elevate and grow here. But I definitely feel like this is definitely somebody new coming in who is definitely financially stable. Okay, someone who is going to be bringing you a lot of happiness and sunshine into your life. Someone who's definitely financially stable. And I feel like you guys are going to be having a lot of fun together. Okay, you guys are going to be laughing together. Okay, yeah, I feel like this person is definitely going to have a sense of humor. All right. So let's get into this reading. Let me shuffle for a few, a few times for you Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Male and female. For Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. Spirit and universe, please give me clear messages for my Aquarius. may be meeting a Leo, Earth sign, a Leo or Earth sign, to a Virgo Capricorn, someone who's definitely financially stable, seeing that coin, that Earth is just really sticking out to me, okay, so that's definitely what I'm getting, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, all right, here we go. We're about to get into this reading. Oh, my card already fell out. We got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? 
So definitely earth energy here towards Virgo Capricorn. This is someone who wants to build something with you, a legacy, family, home life. This could be someone who's definitely financially stable. Like I said, you know, this could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Y'all got cards coming out some more. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Wheel of the Year. So major change here, a shift, okay? This could be good luck, money coming in for you is what I'm getting. We have the moon here. We have the King of Swords. So um, with this moon card, this could be a um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Um... But I feel like this will is turning in your favor. It's definitely um, bringing in, like, money, finances, more stableness, more groundedness here, okay? So um, I feel like it's been a really dark time, maybe a rough time for you as well. And now things are becoming illuminated here with this moon card. Um, it's really good here, Aquarius. Okay. And then there you are showing up, King of Swords. Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles. You have Ace of Wands. Okay, so, yeah, definitely looks like with the Six of Pentacles, it could be an Earth sign coming forward. <clears throat> but I feel like this is someone who wants to give, in, like, an equal give and take. You know, someone who definitely wants to share with you. Okay. Um, we got the Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning and a passionate relationship. This is a new beginning, like creative endeavor for some but i'm really feeling like a new passionate beginning in a relationship and i feel like this is your energy you know with the nine of swords having a lot of worries really not knowing here with the moon because there is a lot of things hidden some of y'all could have already met this person but there's you know it really seems like aquarius you have a lot you're having a lot of anxieties or worry here stress okay but with the four of wands, I feel like this is like, this is stableness coming towards you. This is a, a home, you know, for some, this could be marriage. Okay. Wow. It could be that somebody is having anxieties over settling down or, you know, some sort of stableness here. This is a new beginning in a passionate relationship, but we do have like overseers here that, that could be, like I said, envious, a little jealous here. Okay. Um, some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Definitely feel like, ooh, an earth sign definitely wants to, um, an earth sign definitely wants to build something with you. They want to grow. They want to expand, maybe expand the family. But it's, I see marriage here, though, you know, so... Three of Swords, Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, Ooh, King of Queen of Swords. Okay, let's see. Oh wow. Okay, so here we go. Cause I was gonna say, what the hell, Aquarius? Everything is going good. Yeah. So I, like I said, with this envy, the hostilities, and the um, the attachment. It's some sort of attachment. Either someone that you cut off, someone that you abandoned, you walked away from. This is a, this is not a third party situation, but someone from your past is missing you or brokenhearted here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Um, wow, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we do got the King of Cups. Okay, um, so this is someone who you emotionally walked away from. Five of, Eight of Cups. So emotionally walked away from Eight of Cups. They could have had you in a third party situation, but there's definitely some sort of attachment where, like I said, there's some some enviness, some jealousy here. Someone hasn't, you know, has a lot of a lot to say here with this hostilities card. It could be someone that you abandoned, someone that you walked away from, you cut off here with this Queen of Swords energy. Could be another air sign, of course. But I'm just getting, you know, you cutting this person off, you speaking some sort of truth, and you being happy, or someone getting married, or this new person it could lead to marriage here okay because i feel like with the staying positive 
and having faith is bringing you romance here. Someone from your past or this enviness could be coming from that as well. But I feel like someone is not happy. Uh, yeah. Um, this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely could be wanting to come forward and send you a message, wanting to work on something. But someone is afraid here with the Eight of Swords. This is um, afraid to... Um, to to communicate here this is basically afraid to take action this is someone who feels trapped in their circumstances this is someone who feels trapped in their um just trapped in the circumstances that they're in right now and wanting to work on something could be wanting to send you some sort of message here with the page of wands yeah six of six of wands wanting to get recognized here yeah someone is definitely watching you this could be someone that you had a relationship with in the past this could also be like i'm seeing the uh emperor okay a father figure this could be someone that you had children with here yeah someone from your past definitely water sign cancer pisces scorpio um, they could be married or already in a relationship. They could have children is what I'm getting, but they're still watching you. Okay. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Th that's definitely what I'm getting. That's where the uh, three of swords comes from. This is somebody that you emotionally walked away from here. That's popping up in your reading. You abandoned them. I feel like this, they put you in a third party situation. This person could have been married. I feel like it was a water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but you cut that off here, okay? You're moving forward, and you're beginning to know your own worth, okay? Um, yourself, knowing that your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Did that card come out? I thought, I thought I saw that card as I was shuffling. But that's what I'm getting, okay? Uh, we have all the elements here, guys. Um, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have air as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? That's what I have for you. So a little bit, a little sprinkle of the, the past trying to creep back up, but you are happy. You're meeting someone new. But this is where the envy and the jealousy is coming from, okay? The, the attachment is coming from someone from your past that you were dealing with, okay? And But I feel like you're moving forward. Okay, well, it's a new love, new person. Has started your romantic feelings. Someone who is financially stable. Someone who brings that structure in, okay? So that's what I'm getting, you guys. <clears throat> if this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.